She's in tight. You're welcome. Hello. Hello, everybody. Let me know when you're in the room. If I can get a horns up from y'all. Beautiful Wednesday here at HQ. Lovely weather. Lovely weather. Nice chill in the air. It's getting to be that time. Thank you, Dakota, for the message that catacombs are up and ready to go. La la la. Let me know when you're in the room. Yeah, that's right, LDU. Right back at you. Boop a doo. Yappa dabba doo goo. I love you all. It's time for the catacombs. Ooh, yeah. Hope some of you are watching from home. Most of you are watching from work. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Start off with some news for y'all. Hey, I actually got a good frame going for a change. Nice, nice. I let, my head's almost cut off. Let's give me a little tilty. Little tilty. All right. As always, let's start off with some news. What? Wipe off my face. What's on my face, Jimmy? I don't know. I don't know either. Something's on my face. I can't tell. Should I be scared? I don't know. <laughs> Jimmy's freaking me out early this episode. Hi, everybody. It is Wednesday, November 10th. November 10th. Can you believe that? This year is almost done. We have two days left on our Kickstarter. Friday, we'll be doing our closing ceremonies. We'll be doing lots of shenanigans. I cordially invite you guys to join us. Ooh, pardon me. Hey, Ace, what's up, man? How are you? Hope you are doing well. It's always good to see you. Try not to do a burp. All right, guys. So we got two days left on this Kickstarter. Hell Witch versus Lady Death. Wargasm! It has been a year of death Deathocalypse, and it's coming to an end on Friday. This Kickstarter has gone above and beyond what any of us expected, so thank you so very much for backing this campaign and for all those who have shared and definitely uh, got us some new um, readers. Uh, thank you very much. We can't do what we do without you. Nice little poetry jam. So... I'd like to show you guys some of the add-ons that are still available. Uh, they are very limited, limited amounts. Let's go to reward 25C or add-on 36C. This is the Discipline two book set by Mr. David Harrigan. There's very few left. Not only that, what's great, if you live in the USA, you get free shipping. So no matter how much you order, you're getting free shipping. So I invite you to pick up this edition today. Or, if you'd like, Ali Garza has blessed us with these two Lethal Ladies 2 book edition. These both sets will run you $85, 199 serial numbers each. Bam, Ali Garza, thank you so very much. This is the Lethal Ladies 2 book set. This is a Reward 25B, add-on A36D. Again, $85, there's very few quantities left. So don't delay, get it today. We also still have some hollow foil editions. We have the risque and naughty edition. Ooh la la, ooh la la. These will be serial numbered uh, at the end of the campaign with orders placed. So don't delay, get it today. Also, there is still the lovely cosplay editions. We're doing two this time around. We have Hell Witch Dominates Cosplay and Lady Death dominates cosplay. These editions are totally available. Please get them. Get them. If you're into prints, oh my gosh, do we have 
a large assortment of prints. We have a fine art print. There is so much available still for you while this campaign is still going. Not only that, let me tell you, anyone who's new to the show, our Coffin Comics Kickstarter value proposition is truly the best you can expect. With each physical rewards includes the following um, free, all unlock free bonus items. We've added two comic books. So you're getting two additional comic books along with stickers, buttons, cards, amazing things. Over 28 items are added. It's busted at the seams. Back in, we give away so much free stuff in our bonus items. Also, free U.S. shipping. That's right. If you live in the U.S., you have a physical reward. It's free U.S. shipping. Doesn't cost no matter how much you order in the USA, it's free. A free digital download of your edition. Say um, you got a metal, <clears throat> excuse me, a metal hollow foil, whatever you may have, and you don't want to open it and crease that spine, damage it in any way. Well, we offer a free digital download. Read it on your tablet. Read it on your phone. Read it on the PC at home. <laughs> I didn't even plan that one. Also, free Brian Polito autograph and certificate of authenticity. This is optional, but it is free. So definitely jump in if you definitely like your book's autograph. We will include a very lovely Coffin Comics COA to go with it. So much good thing. Other things we include in our value proposition is uh, these wonderful editions. We just are randomly throwing in 10 of each of these across all physical rewards, including Mike Chrome's Blacker Metal. Very stunning. I think you guys saw some weird grease paint guy yelling out brutal, more brutal. I don't know who that guy is. Um, there's also the Wargasm Azure Metals. Don McTagg. 10 of these are gonna be randomly tipped into all physical rewards. So if you just get a Premier Edition, you just get a Metal Card Edition, you have a chance to just get one of these edition tips in. That's why we consider this part of our value proposition. And for Mike DeBalfo, here is the Scarlet Metal Edition. 10 will be randomly tipped in. The Violet Metal by Sora Sung. 10 randomly tipped in across all physical rewards. Boom. And this one's really beautiful. The Black Metal by Eric Basaluda. We are throwing 10 of these in across all physical campaigns, all rewards. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an absolute pleasure that we do this stuff. These are very rare, limited editions, and we just tip them in for you. Why? Because you deserve it. So, before I go on to the other things, we have some news coming up. <laughs> Calling all cars, calling all cars. Hey, Swarm Fest is literally gonna be right around the corner before you know it. We're ordering it November 10th, February 22nd through the 24th. That's like less than four months. That's less than four months, can you believe it? We're all gonna be coming together here. Mesa, Arizona, tours of HQ, lots of fun things to do downtown. Get ready for a lot of fun and shenanigans. Tickets are still available. $40 for a whole weekend pass. It's a screening deal for three days of fun and shenanigans. I can't wait to see you all. Everybody who's going to be there, I'm looking forward to it. Hugs and everything. We also have um, Sapphire Nova will be appearing. She started cosplaying at age 15, uh, so I could see Lord of the Rings movies as an elf. Had no idea back then it was called cosplaying. But I enjoyed going to the movies and meeting other fans who were dressed in costumes. Uh, from there, I found my way to comic book conventions and realized I didn't have to wait for the next premiere or Halloween to break out a costume. I could do it all the time. That developed into a passion of mine and finally my full-time job. I can now say that I am blessed to get to do what I do every day that I, I love every day. A quote from Sapphire, Sapphire Nova. If anyone hasn't met her, she is sweet, she is amazing, she's so approachable, and she is definitely one of our super fans, and we are so happy to have her here. Again, February 25th, 26th, and 27th will be the date of Swarm Fest. Come on in, join the fun. We're taking over the town. Let's see if there'll be any downtown area in Mesa left after we're done with it. Also, Swarm Clubber, uh, Swarm Clubber, Swarm Club Member Spotlight 
Uh, this uh, is Grace, uh, I hope I pronounced your last name right, Grace Maison Gundlech. Um, she has a picture of this awesome tattoo she had done. Beautiful. And she is the sworn spotlight member of the day. All right, coming up. December 1st, we're doing a, something a little different for the catacombs on that day. We're going to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the release of Brian's Polito's Evil Ernie number 1. Can you believe it's been 30 years? Well, we're going to go ahead and celebrate that because that was the beginning of Brian starting his career in the comic book industry. I'm really excited. It's going to be called Evil Fest. And it'll be myself and Brian on the 24th at 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So we're going to be doing the show that's normally at noon. We're going to do it a little bit later in the afternoon. So if you could please join us, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, leading up to the Evil Fest of the Catholic Coast, we will be crossing a special two-part series called The Secret History of Evil Ernie's Creation along with reposting the 2016 article, The Forgotten Development of Evil Ernie, with an interview with Eric Mache. This is going to be a lot of fun. Again, Evil Fest, a special Coffin Catacombs, Wednesday, de December 1st, 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Stay tuned, because things are about to get evil. I am so excited. Um, I remember first getting my hands on Evil Ernie. I had to wait for a second print to come out because I couldn't get a first printing. I did get my hands on a first printing in number two and three. So when that second print came out, I was so happy to finally have it as part of my collection. So, and then from there, a few years later, we have Lady Death's first series, The Reckoning, which really just made chaos grow and totally made Brian the leader in independent comics that he is today. So, please join me December 1st along with Brian Polito um, as we celebrate the 30th anniversary of Evil Ernie, Youth Gone Wild number one that came out in 1991. It's crazy how time flies. Crazy how time flies. So, very special catacombs on December 1st, and we'll be doing it in the afternoon instead of noon time. So please join us. All right, everybody. We've still got some shenanigans on this Kickstarter. There's still gonna be maybe a couple uh, wheel spins. I don't know. You'll have to stay tuned and find out. Please uh, like our pages, and also like and subscribe us on our YouTube channel, Coffin TV, and that'll let you know whenever we're doing anything live, Posting any new videos with our artists doing um, artwork and showing you how the process is done. It's really fun, very educational, especially if you're an artist um, really wanting to know how it's done for comic creator artists. So definitely check out those videos that Jimmy uploads. They're really great, very informative, and they're a lot of fun. Here we go with the catacomb offerings for you all today. Let me see if there's any questions or comments. Hello, who do we have here? Jay, good to see you. Eric Hart. Carmen, welcome to the show. Well, there was a time change. Uh, that's one thing. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I live in Arizona because this time change is when I lived in Portland. It, it really messed me up big time. So uh, there will be some uh, purgatory stuff coming this week, Carmen. There will be. Let's see what uh, I have for you guys today. Um, I hope everyone's having a good time because it is almost time for me to gain more weight. Two weeks, I'm gonna get fat, yeah! All right, here we go. Here's the offerings I have for you on the catacombs today. Last two copies of Lady Death, Spider Death Edition. These are the last two copies. Great find from the amazing Dakota. Bam! Get it today. Wow. I, that was fast, Jay. Wow, cool. Congratulations. I saw your post today, so I'm excited for you. Why don't you uh, reveal to us what it says? Come on. Don't be shy. Share that love. Share that love. All right. 
DeBalfo fans, swimsuit fans, these are the last copy of each of Mike DeBalfo Nice Swimsuit and Mike DeBalfo Naughty Swimsuit Editions. One available of each, and that is it. They'll officially be sold out. No more copies. Also, another great find from Dakota. I was really excited to see this. This is Lady Death, Merciless Onslaught, First Appearance Caprice. These are the last six copies available. These are the last ones available. Get them while you can. Very beautiful, beautiful edition. Going way back to the Merciless Onslaught Kickstarter. So this is it. Last six. And they are gone. Goodbye. It's been nice knowing you. All right. This was really cool. Um, I was um, going through labeling and uh, getting everything uh, put together for the vault, cataloging it, and I ran across this. It was a number 15, not a low numbered edition, so I figured I would present this here for you today. This is Lady Death Fantasies, Naughty Ivory Edition by Richard Ortiz. Bam. Only one available. One, one, come get some. This is the last copy I have found. Um, I think I sold an AP3 or something uh, last year. So um, to my knowledge, this is the very last copy. All right, another last copy. This is Lady Death Pinups. Hot Pink Hollow Foil Edition by Mac DeBalfo. Look at that stunning piece. Beautiful. This is the last copy. It is number 67 out of 69, dudes and dudettes. 67 out of 69. So, so I wanted that already. So, oh man, let me know what it was, Carmen. Hit me up. Message me. Message me, please. All right, another one, last one. This is number 45 out of 77. Lady Death, Hot Shots, Naughty Firecracker, Halifoil Edition. As they say in France, this is the edition you are looking for. This is my last copy. Again, another store find from the one and only Dakota Reese. Bonus fry to some of you folks out there. Another one she presents to me, Hell Witch Gallery, Risque Seductress Edition. Let me put my finger sensors in the way. Bam! Last copy. This is one and done. This is it. This is it. I'm going to put it right there so I don't get in trouble. All right. Here we are with some classic Chaos Era items. I have here a two book set in honor of Stephen Hughes. This is Lady Death by Stephen Hughes and Stephen Hughes Tribute. It's a two book set available right now. These are the only copies I have. There you go. Boom. Classics here. Got some classics in here. Also, I wish I had more of this. I was really hoping in this collection I had, um, I had the full run, but I only had the first issue. So I made a set called the Chaos Set, which includes Undertaker number one, China 2 Premier Edition cover, Lady Death and Lingerie Classic Chaos Edition, and the Women of Chaos Gallery. It's a four pack of classics from the annuals of Brian Polito's publication history. Get it today, I only have one set. This is it, get in there. Why is it you're being difficult? There we go. That's a good girl, right there. Bam! All right, for you Chaos fans, I have for you today the Dead King set. This includes issues one through four, including the Jim Ballant variant cover. It's five books, boom, spread out. Look at that. Beautiful set, complete run of Dead King. Dead King, I really love that variant. Jim Ballant did an amazing job on that variant cover too. <laughs> oh, here we go. Slide that in there. Oh, I don't want to damage anything. I'll set that right here. There we go. All right, another classic from the chaos era of Brian's publication story. This is the cryptic writings of Megadeth. It is a complete set, including the variant, necro variant. So complete set, the cryptic writings, Omega Death, one, two, three, and four, and the number one variant. Bam. One set available, 
This is it. These are the only copies I have available for Megadeth. All right. Made a special set for you all for this one. These are the last copies of Loco number one, along with the metallic cards. This is a signed set. It includes Loco number one from Lady Death, uh, or excuse me, La Muerta Vengeance. And then I also have included the metallic card, also signed by Brian. COAs for both. There's also a COA for the card for people who want to make sure they get their COAs. Bam, there it is. So this is the Loco comic and metallic card set signed by the one and only Brian Polito. All right, man, for all you Scratch and Dent fans, here you go. This cover really took my breath away when I first saw it. Um, it, it is a stunner, there is no denying it. This is Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty Cosplay Edition Scratch and Dent copies. Bam. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Um, this cover still makes me blush a bit. I haven't gotten over it. It's it's pretty damn hot. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. These are the things I have for you guys today. Oh, pardon me. Let me take a look at some of the comments I have from all you beautiful people. Let's see. It's Jay Taylor. Check-in time. Yeah, Jay, you know, you, you've really done a, a, a great service, I believe, the Sword Nation, checking up, seeing how everyone's feeling, uh, making sure everyone is in good health, both mentally and physically. Um, bless you, man. You, you've you've really done some amazing uh, posts, and um, just you know, no one has uh, met Jay. Um, I cordially invite him. He is a sweetheart, really nice guy, total sworn member, and um, he's really looking out for everyone in the group. So it's always great to uh, have someone like that in your um, group of fiends and sworn alike. So, round of applause to Jay. Congratulations, man. Uh, so I wanted that right, it's really bad, I can't remember. <laughs> can't, place, can't place my order, saying ship it, not available. I was... Oh, Eric, stop, you're gonna make me blush. Yeah, um, Jay, if you could, um, Message me what it is, and I will get with Dakota and see what we can do about getting that taken care of for you. It might just be a slight glitch in the, the Matrix build-up. Oh, that's, that's, that's not a bad idea, Carmen. Carmen's throwing out some logic. Um, but yeah, let me know. Uh, send me a private message, Jay, and I'll see what I can do on my end for you, all right? Whew, man, it's warm in here. Yeah, sometimes, um, sometimes it does happen. Um, sometimes computers aren't as reliable as you would like them to be. But that's okay, because that's why there's people like Mel over at Inquiries at Coffin Comics. Uh, she's always willing to help you out if you guys are having problems placing orders, or your order has been lost, whatever. Reach out to our amazing customer service rep, Moonshine Mel. And I definitely want to say uh, she's really done some amazing things for y'all. She really works hard to make sure you guys get taken care of. So if you have any problems at all with your orders or having problems with the site, reach out to Mel at inquiries at coughingcomics.com. Uh, you know, that's a good question. That was Karen. I apologize. Okay. I'm confused, Carmen, but it wasn't meant for me. Um, I'm sure we're probably do, we're, we seem to do them every year, so um, it'll be interesting to see who we pick next year. Uh, I don't know it exactly at this point, but once I hear, I will let you all know. Oh my God, everybody, Karen's here. Hi, Karen, how are you? Long time no see, it's so good to see you. Uh, how are you and Jeff doing? Hope everyone in the family's doing well in Great North. You guys are uh, hopefully not too snowed in. I don't know if it's snow in there, but it's really great to see you. Thank you very much for joining me today. Always great to see all you wonderful people. Okay, everyone. Everyone, let's say hi to Karen Walsh. Hi, Karen. So great to see you. Okay, great, Jay. Um, 
great. I'm glad you were able to get something. Um, let me know if you have any other issues. Um, if so, we'll see what we can do on behind the scenes to get you taken care of. Ah, oh, that's good to hear. That's so good to hear. Yay, hey, look, Jimmy's in the house. Like you say, guys, if you're ever uh, watching these shows and you're having an issue, um, throw it up here. I, I love to read your comments and reply back to you guys. Just to give it that personal touch. Like I say, I'm used to doing the retail thing where I'm in a store slinging books and talking to folks and being ridiculous. Uh, but now I get to do it on camera for uh, the world to see. That's weird to, uh, to know. All right. Oh, good. Right on, Jay. I'm glad you could get it. Like you say, expect more classic chaos sets coming your way throughout this month leading up to the December 1st of celebrating Evil Ernie's 30th anniversary. I'm so excited. I can't wait to hang out with Brian and you guys discussing this stuff. Again, it'll be Wednesday, December 1st. Uh, I'll probably look a lot plumper because it'll be after Thanksgiving. So um, my jumpsuit might be a little tight. I apologize. You know, Eric, um, uh, yeah, I actually, uh, I'm doing good. Um, I have my good days and my de days. Uh, thank you for asking. And um, so far, things are going great. Just got to take it one day at a time. And uh, yeah, you know, when you lose someone close to you, it's, 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 always, it's always hard. All right, and with that note, thank you all. I personally want to thank you. This has been a really fun show I've been doing for you guys for um, almost a year now. So uh, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for being there, and thank you for being there for each other. So remember, I'll see you guys probably Friday night, the closing ceremonies of Hell Witch versus Lady Death. Wargasm! It's been fun. It's been real. And I love you all. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. I will see you later. Ah! Bye, everybody. Have a great week, and if I don't talk to you, have an amazing weekend. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.